Hello friends, I would like to welcome you all with a spicy, tasty, crispy and crumbling jowar chekli or jowar murku. This is a very good snack. Welcome to NK Food and Lifestyle channel. In case if you haven't subscribed to us, please do so. Let's start the preparation for that. We would need one full cup of jowar flour and to this one teaspoon of red chili powder. Now when it comes to the spices, all that we would need is 1 4 teaspoon of coriander powder and 1 4 teaspoon of cumin seeds powder. Along with these two, let's also go ahead and add a bit of turmeric powder and the most important thing is salt. So let's add salt as per the taste and just to enhance the flavor and fragrance, hang for just one pinch. Along with all of these things, we would like to also add a twine or carom seeds and this also take in about 1 4 teaspoon, crush it in the hand and just put this. Now one of the most important step is to add hot oil for this floor and when we add hot oil, just be careful and mix it and uh, hot oil provides us a bit of binding consistency to the floor. And now let's also add hot water and we need to knead. So just remember friends, Jowar flour does not have any gluten in it which means that the binding consistency is not going to be as strong as the wheat flour. So for that we need to consider adding the hot oil and hot water. So these are some of the workarounds that help us to get the Jowar flour to bind well. So if it doesn't bind well then what we are trying to do the murku or the snack is not going to hold up its shape. So that's the reason it is very important to add these things and the most um, important additional step would be to knead well. So we just need to spend 2-3 to three minutes kneading this and when we knead well the floor would start getting a bit of binding shape and consistency which is needed for holding the shape. Now that we have almost completed the binding procedure or the kneading procedure, so let's go ahead and start looking at what is it that helps us to get those shapes, right? So for that today we are going to consider a checkly mold or a checkly presser as it's called. So for this particular recipe, we just need a simple star shape and put that into the bottom and fix it up and also go ahead and grease the inner layer of that so that the floor flows easily. Now take the flour, stuff it in and make sure the oil is hot. So this is just a simple refined flour. So once the oil is hot, so just go ahead and press and release the checklist directly into the pipping hot oil. What does this do? So first and foremost thing, these checklists or these press provides us a good granular shape and texture to the pieces. So they are like some thorny textures, right? So all of that in case if you were to put it onto a tray and then manually transfer it to the oil. So some of that texture would get pressed out from our hands. So that's the reason it's always preferred that we go ahead and do it directly into the oil. So while we do this, just be a bit careful because oil is certainly picking hot. And there is one question that some of us always have in mind. So while this crispy snack is ready. Is this a healthy snack or is it a junk snack? So let me tell you friends, this is a less junk snack but it is amazingly tasty and goes well as a perfect companion for your tea or a coffee break. In case if you have enjoyed our recipe, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and please do try this at your home and do share your feedback. Thank you for watching.